On the way there, it was, it was excitement. We're doing something, we're now a part of history. All that deteriorated once I got there. There's no reason why the little guy can't tell the story. There's no reason why the guy at the bottom of the food chain doesn't have as much to say as the guy at the top of the food chain. I heard and felt the bullets whiz literally inches from my head, hitting all around my hatch and making a ping, ping, ping sound. Some people kind of, when they write about combat, I guess, kind of have a romantic uh, image of it. That wasn't my experience. The whole time I wanted it to stop. AK fire and multiple RPGs were flying at us from every single fucking direction. If they're running, they're guilty. The credo had been drilled in their heads over and over again, and it was what went through the sergeant's head as he knelt to take aim. What my crew saw was a very up-close, personal, human experience. I just knew that I had to, had to write something about that. War is not this glorious thing that's made in a movie on TV. When you break it down to the human level, it's actually quite disgusting. I thought it'd be all over the news. There was hardly any mention of it. I was like, well, if no one's gonna write about it, I'll take a shot at it. I remember just sitting there thinking, okay, just start from the beginning. I was sitting in my room reading a book. Uh, when the mortar started coming down, I just sort of went from there, just started typing and typing. I was in my room reading a book, thin red line, when the mortars started coming down. 